Hey problem solvers, Colfax Math here. This video is going to do a quick review of exponents, uh, certainly essential on a lot of standardized tests. Um, and actually, before you even get started on the rules of exponents and some sample problems, let me just spend a second talking about what an exponent is. So if you have something like 5 squared, what that means is 5 times 5 or 25. Or if you have 5 to the power of 4, that's 5 times 5 times 5 times 5, or 625. So this is the number of times you multiply it, right? So if you had, say, 3 squared to the power of 3, the rule is you multiply these, but what this is saying is you saying you take this thing right here, 3 squared, 9, but then I do that 3 times, so I'd have 9 times 9 times 9. So kind of understand what it, the exponent is, is kind of the most important part. The rule would be you multiply these together to get 3 to the 6. 9 times 9 is 81. 81 times 9 is, what is that, 729 maybe? And then 3 to the 6 would be 3, 9, 27, 81, 243, 729. So it would be the same thing. Let's take a look at the five rules of exponents. So this x is the base to the power of m. That's the exponent. And then, so if I have x to the m times x to the n, I add those exponents together. So if I had something like x squared times x to the third, I would keep that same base of x, add those exponents together to get 2 plus 3 or 5. The quotient rule of exponents, quotient's division, x to the m divided by x to the n. So again, the bases are the same. I subtract the exponent. So if I had x to the fourth over x squared, I would keep that same base of x, and I do 4 minus 2 to get x squared. We're just simplifying exponents here. This is the rule, the product, I mean not product, where I'm to the power of. And this is the one I started with. I multiply exponents here. So I have x to the m, the whole quantity to the n, is equal to x m times n. So if I had x to the third to the power of 4, I would multiply these together to get x to the twelfth. Anything to the 0 power is always equal to 1. So if I had 27 to the 0, that's still equal to 1 x to the 0 would be equal to 1. And then the negative rule is it could always be made positive by reciprocating it. So if I have a base to the power of a negative exponent, I can make it positive by putting in the denominator. And also if I had a negative exponent down here, x 1 over x to the negative 2, that would be equal to x squared. So I can move it to the top, to the numerator, and make it positive. All right, so now that we've looked at the five rules of exponents, let's take a look at some sample problems. I'll probably pause the video right here and do these first, and then I'll go over them. Okay, hopefully you did this first. I'm just multiplying together. So I just add those exponents to get x to the eighth. Here, you know you're going to subtract them. Eight minus three is five. Here, you know you're going to multiply them. Make sure you do these before I do. 8 to the 6. Anything to the 0 power is equal to 1. x to the negative 5 is going to be 1 over x to the 5th. 1 over x to the negative 6. We're going to make that positive by moving it up. So that's just x to the 6. Do this one before I do it. It's a little bit of a misleading. This isn't as much of an exponent problem as it is order of operations. So remember you do um, exponents before you do multiplication. So this is really negative five to the power of two, right? So this thing has to go first. So this is actually equal to negative 25 versus if say I had negative five quantity squared, that is saying negative five times itself, negative 5 times negative 5, which is a negative times a negative, or positive 25. All right, 
Let's just do a few more and we'll wrap it up. Again, these aren't solving because there's no equal sign, there's no equation. Um, here, you're just gonna simplify. Again, I'll pause the video, do these three problems, and then I'll go over them. Okay, hopefully you did them. Uh, here I'm multiplying, I'm gonna add these two things together. So a two and a negative three is a negative one. To make that positive, I put it in the denominator and I have one over x to the first. I don't need to write a one on there, it's implied, it's a one. Here I have y to the third, the power to the negative four, I multiply that, you get y to the negative 12. And again, I make it positive, one over y to the 12th. And lastly here, I'm dividing so I could subtract. So x to the seventh over x to the 12th would be x to the negative fifth. There's no number on here, so it's a one. Two minus one would be a one, so I have x to the negative fifth, y to the first. Or to make it positive, I keep that y in the numerator, put that in the denominator, and that's how you simplify exponents. Hopefully that helped you out. Quick review of exponents. It could certainly get a lot more complex, but hopefully that's a good quick reminder on how to do exponents. If you're new to the channel, think about uh, subscribing and I appreciate you watching. Uh, love to hear your comments below. Thank you for watching.